It is time for Food for Mood with Dr. Judy Workman. And Judy uh, joins us on a Thursday morning right before this week in the Lakeville Journal. Uh, Judy is the co-author of the Serotonin Power Diet, a journal of a duck midwife, and uh, her latest book, Before Her Voice Was Still, A Friendship in the Shadow of ALS. And we welcome Judy once again to the show. Good morning, Judy. Good morning to you. <clears throat> and um, I, I just thought some of your listeners might be interested in uh, a, a news release that came, um, that was in the newspapers and the media last week, and Jill and I talked about this, and that's the fact that uh, so many of us looking for information, actually, as your, your last speaker was talking about, explanations as to why things are happening and how people feel and, you know, and, and how they're going to affect their health or their voting dispositions. Uh, why so many of us rely on the social media to give us medical information when we really could be going to a source like our own physicians? And this article lamented the fact that a significant <laughs> amount of medical scientific health-related information that you can find on the Internet or uh, in, in magazines, magazine articles or news articles on, on television are incorrect, are absolutely wrong. And, and, and the, um, the, one of the, uh, the problems is that it's very hard to know where to get actually accurate information. I'll give you an example. I have a friend who has been struggling for, oh, well, by her estimation, eight months to figure out why she's had a, a rash over most of her body that itches terribly, keeps her awake at night because it itches so much, and none of the dermatologists she's gone to have been able to offer an explanation. Uh, and her biopsy, skin biopsies have come back ambiguous. What's wrong? She's gone to an allergist, is a contact, is a food, none of the above. And so she's been looking on the Internet for explanations, and she's been going to home remedies. You know, if I douse my skin with vinegar or with this particular lotion or if I eat some kind of a vitamin supplement or maybe I'm vitamin deficient, maybe that's the reason why I am in such, you know, itch, itch, itching agony all the time. And and so she is always searching for an answer. Fortunately, she went, she changed doctors and got a, a biopsy that apparently showed what was wrong with her. She has a, an adult onset type of eczema. But, but the point was that she was frantic to try to find an explanation for why she was so miserable, and she couldn't find it in the medical profession, and so she went to the media. And other people do the same thing. You know, I'm depressed, I'm tired, I'm stressed, I don't understand why I have a headache, oh, maybe I have a brain tumor, oh, but maybe I'm not getting enough magnesium. Um, you, you look on the television, and you, in fact, it's hard to avoid advertisements, and there's so many, for memory aids. There, there's one, which I won't mention by name, that's been sued by uh, several states because the information is so inaccurate. There's no medical, there's no scientific evidence. Can I interrupt for one second? Correct. Because this they is, make billions of dollars selling this particular product, and it's amazing. But here's there, there's a bigger there's a bigger issue within all this, and I I, I don't know whether the um the the article covered it, and that is you know that when people go to their doctors anyway, they don't ask anything. That's so, true. Or they, if they ask, they don't have the time to get the doctor doesn't have the time, the time to give the, the information, answer. or or and and or they're not with an advocate who's. You know, you know, they're they're on the spot. They they haven't one way or the other. That doesn't is isn't considered. You know, once you've got your visit, you're there, and blah blah blah. So that's you're absolutely right. That's one, two, and this is more alarming. But there is a generation, possibly a generation and a half, that is more comfortable looking on the internet and doing all of this by screen than by actually talking to somebody. And that is a disaster as far as just common sense public health because their parents never taught them about, for example, hydrogen peroxide. Or if you want to go to um, uh, mildly homeopathic, Arnica. So they don't have a starting point of basic first aid, just like I presumably your mother gave you a Betty Crocker cookbook, something. You know, yes, oh, sure. Remember <laughs> that one for kids? No, it was fun. And I, I talk about it with my friend all the time. And did you re- remember trying to make the circus? Ca- but you learned building blocks. Whether, That's right. Okay. And there is no 
currently, I, I would say, as I say, generation and a half, I might be underestimating it. it might be more. They don't have the basic building blocks. They don't no, remember the presidential. They, they don't learn it in school, certainly. No, but but remember the presidential whatever for physical fitness that Kennedy. You know how you had books and you did jumping jacks, but you had you had a basic for physical fitness. This was this had to be like nineteen sixty or something. Irrespective of whether it's useful now, the the point is there was something when you you know you got to the point like I better be doing something. So then there was something that had something, and I'm sorry to overuse the word something, but that's what's missing here. And so then you've got the internet, which is this massive, unsorted, um, sordid s o r d i d, and not exactly um, known for its accuracy. Um, entity. That's right. You can put anything up on the internet and companies get away with making claims because really they're under the radar unless they make a great deal of money the way this particular memory aid company does and they've been sued up and down but they still make billions of dollars. It doesn't really matter. They pay millions of dollars in fines. But how would, again, how does a consumer know, Jill? And you know, one thing I've tried because I see claims made for, oh, serotonin and what have you. I always write, I call up the company, or I write, and I say, could you please send me the research? Well, of course, there's no research, or the research is done with three people, probably the relatives of the employer. And so it's so hard to get accurate information. And, 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 and usually the information isn't even necessary, necessary, isn't even worth trying to get, because you know, if, for example, with a memory situation, there's practically nothing that's going to help your memory right now. And, and if you have Alzheimer's, you know, there's a drug that's just been approved by the FDA, which may have a very small effect. But you know, I think part of our problem, Jill, is that we don't accept the inevitable that sometimes you can't fix something that's broken, no matter how much you search the Internet. And that's the other part of it. Right. And, and sometimes we have to accept the fact that, yeah, you get sick, and you might get better, and you might not get better. But and the internet's not going to help you in this respect. No, and again, the internet. We've got, we've got. I could talk about this endlessly because I watch people literally falling off a cliff or falling into a hole. You know, that they then have to be winched out of because. Right. No, because you can find all sorts of horrible, you, you know, it's like, oh, wow, I have a sore throat. Oh, wow. It could be, no, no, wait, actually, it could be throat. No, 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 wait. And you end up in a place where where somebody should have said, well, have you tried a little bit of salt water? Garlic? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And, and, you know, and just, there's, the other thing is that sometimes there's so many claims made, like vitamin D, that it's going to help you with bones and with heart, heart disease and what have you. And the NIH spent millions and millions of dollars and finally said, no, you know what? Vitamin D really isn't going to help in any of these, any of these situations. But it took millions of dollars to reject false claims that this vitamin D was really going to, to uh, help. And so the, the trying to, over, to compensate or trying to under, get the correct information about these claims is extremely expensive. And most of the time, there's no institution or organization that's willing to do it. So I think I think the thing is, if it's too, too good to be true, you know, yeah, it probably, it probably is. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. Dr. Judy Wortman, Food for Mood. And, of course, you can hear Judy here uh, on Thursday mornings right before this weekend at the Lakeville Journal.